I like this one. I think this would be a bestseller. This looks like something you would eat. <laughs> Hi guys, Barbara here. How's your day going? If you've only been subscribed to this channel and you've never subscribed to my cooking channel, The Bear Pantry Show, or my vlog channel, Babs Bear Talk, or perhaps you just haven't been able to watch any of my channels in a while, then you're probably wondering what the heck's going on with this video right here, right? Well, let me tell you what's happening. Starting today, January the 18th, 2018, I'm going to start to upload daily family vlogs right here at this channel. Now, I started this channel back in February of 2012 as an extension to the cooking channel because I just wanted to be able to discuss some of the things that I was using at the cooking channel, like the pots and pans, the blenders, the knives, and so on and so on. And I'm the type of person that love as seen on TV type stuff, and I always wonder if they work. So I wanted to like buy the items, try it, and tell you my honest opinion on if they work or not. So that's what we have been doing here over the past, what, five and a half years or so. Now, as you guys know, if you're faithful to this channel, I really don't upload, well, I haven't uploaded on a consistent basis. And it's not because I didn't want to, it's just because I didn't have the means to buy some of the things that I wanted to review, right? So let me tell you what's been going on. As recent as two days ago, Google decided to demonetize all small YouTube channels. So my vlog channel, um, although I have a faithful following there, it's not a big channel. So I don't have over a thousand subscribers and I certainly didn't have over 4,000 hours views in the past 12 months. So that's one of the channels that got demonetized. So I was faced with a decision um, if I was going to continue or not because vlogging takes a lot out of you and if you can't even make the little 30 bucks I was making then why bother right but then I put the question to my uh, viewers and my friends and my fans and my followers and I got a resounding yes from them that they want me to continue to vlog by any means necessary but they did understand if I had to quit so after much thinking and planning and meditating and prayer I decided that I would move the vlogs over here to this channel because this channel is called Bear Pantry Talk. So like my son Josh said, think about this channel as a TV channel that you watch. That channel has different shows on it, right? So at this channel, we have the um, reviews. That's a show. We'll have the DIYs. That's another show. Joshua will start to contribute with his uh, reviews of movies and video games and so on. He'll read spooky stories. He'll just do whatever comes to him naturally and put the content here. And then we're also going to have the family vlog. So I guess it's the equivalent of like when you have a network, you know, that some YouTubers join a network and they just have all different type of content there. That's what we're going to do here at Bear Pantry Talk. We're just going to have different types of contents. I'm sure other things will pop up as we go along, but for right now, I want to bring the vlogs here. So first of all, let me take care of some business. I want to thank the 6,000 of you that have stayed faithful to this channel. You've subscribed, you've watched, and you've stayed faithful because I still make some money here at this channel even though I haven't given it the TLC that it needs, right? I want to thank the people who came over from the vlog because you guys know that I'm migrating. This is moving day to day. Thank you so much for following me over here. Perhaps you had already subscribed to this channel, but you know you only watch when I put up a video now and again. Thank you for sticking with me and following me over here, okay? Now I wanna ask you guys, as earnestly as I can, please hit the subscribe button, please share the channel for me, uh, click the bell so you can know when I um, upload another video, which will be every night. You know, I upload like late into the night, California time, like around 11 o'clock I start my upload, so that's wee hours of the morning on the East Coast time. And I also ask you to share the videos. If you like what I'm producing, please go ahead and share the videos because that will help this channel to continue to grow. So now I'm only going to have two channels. I'm not shutting down Babs Bear Talk, but I will not be uploading any more videos at that channel, okay? At least for right now, you know, because I'm not shutting it down. Who knows? It might just grow, right? But while it's stagnant, I'm just going to stick here upload a vlog a night and whatever else Joshua produces and you know when I do a review and then I'm also going to keep uploading at my cooking channel and the cooking channel is going to be primarily about food mukbangs the cooking the kids try and so on and so on so let's get into the rest of today's vlogs and then I'll see you later on tonight with an ending okay we had to come to the Walmart in Rialto to buy the fabric that we need to do some more of the organizers because I am completely bare did you get that? Yeah. Completely bare of fabric. 
blue one. Yeah, I like the blue one. I am so sorry. Can I just please apologize to any of you that are watching from North Carolina, Louisiana, Florida, and all these places that don't really get all that much snow, but now you have snow because we hot over here. <laughs> Y'all see me sweating? We hot over here. I went to Costco and I saw a girl in hot pants, okay, in Daisy Dukes. I saw an old man in his little Bermuda shorts. And I was gonna record, you know, just the bottom half of them to show to you guys. But I'm like, I'm not gonna be mean. Okay. Gonna be mean. <laughs> so it's a warm day today in sunny Southern California. And I'm just showing off because tomorrow it's gonna rain and it's probably gonna get a little bit chilly. And I know that I'm using that word very loosely because chili for us in California means nothing to you guys on the, in the south and on the east coast. So we're heading to go put some gas in. Then Joe's going to take Joshua to school. This is the day when he only stays there for like one hour and 50 minutes. So Joe's like, I am not coming back home. I'm going to go find some parking lot to park in and I'm going to read a book because this is wasting my gas. So um, while he's gone, Joe, look there. Look there. What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> <The point. laughs> While he's gone, I'm going to cut one more of the organizers for my sweet Helen. This is what we bought today. Let me show you. These two colors, the purple with the white dots and then the purple with the white diamonds. All right. So this is going to be one organizer. And this is what we got for Helen because she wants more like winter or fall colors. So we got this beautiful brown with the peach in it and then we got this caramel thing i don't know what color this is uh, it just looks like something that i should be eating all right <laughs> for the people that are new to the vlog let me tell you a little bit more about me and my family my name is barbara i am 51 years old i've been married to my darling husband joe or joseph for the past 31 years so yes i got married at age 20 um, we had our first child three years later. His name is Joshua. He is 28 years old. And then we had our second son, Jory. He is 26 years old. And then we had our beautiful daughter, Jada, and she is uh, 22 years old. So that's a little bit more about us for the people that were just here for the review and not for the vlog, so you know a little bit more about us. So what am I doing, guys? I am cutting material to make some bag organizers, okay? Joe is at um, the school waiting for Josh because you guys know that Josh doesn't have a car. Today is Thursday, I think Thursday the 18th. I'm over here by San Bernardino. I'm waiting for Josh to get out of school, so I gotta sit here for the next two hours because I drop him off, but I don't wanna drive back home and come back again because by the time I get home, I gotta come right back. So I'm gonna kill the time a little bit. I'm gonna sit in here reading my book. I got my all Dr. Mike book on this tablet right here. All his book is right on this tablet. So I'm gonna sit here today and I'm gonna read some of the wisdom words and keywords and stuff like that and you know, scale the time. I don't know, apparently something's going on. They have a Carl Jr. truck out there. And ice. You guys saw the last vlog that I uploaded at the vlog channel last night. You may remember me telling you that Joe and I were going to go to Long Beach today for a show or a convention. Well, you guys, your girl is losing it, okay? I woke up this morning bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 5.30 in the morning. I was going to get breakfast going and then I was going to pack a lunch and we were going to head out by a quarter of nine. 
Honey, it's a good thing I went and got my little tickets. This is just the, um, the, the one that you print when you go there. They'll scan your thingy and give you your badge and everything. Thank God I checked this because the thing doesn't start till tomorrow. <laughs> but no, I'm really not losing it. Something does start today, but it's for the exhibitors. They have to set up and do their little, their little training seminar for the people who paid Buku money to go. We're just going on the free you know, expo tickets. So we're going to go Saturday because we had something to do tomorrow that we had already scheduled um, in advance because we knew that we weren't going to be in town on Thursday. So we're going to go Saturday, rain or shine. And you know what? I can't record when I'm in there because I was reading everything on the ticket. And this is what it says. Um, no camera or video equipment allowed on the show floor. Violators will be prosecuted. Or like mommy would say, persecuted. Right? I'm like, how can they really stop you from bringing in a camera though? Really? Everybody's phone is a camera. The cheapest Obama phone has a camera. Okay, front and back. I'm just saying. So it's like, no, um, I'm not going to record. If I see things like that, I never break the rules. But there's a lot of things we can record on the outside that's not in the exhibit hall. And we can certainly record Long Beach. Long Beach is, Long Beach is beautiful. So we're going to record some stuff Saturday, all right? So Joe is still ironing on those interfacers. I cleaned up here somewhat. Jory always does this thing where he brings food home from work. When they give it to him, he can bring food home sometimes. And he'll bring tons of these type of things and lettuce and what's the purple thing eggplant and just weird stuff that we don't eat and I don't know what to do with this mess so I'm sending it all over to Leah I'm gonna send it. he has he has like five big bags of lettuce like this I'm sending all that for Leah's daughter who's vegan so <laughs> you already, tell Colin to get it? I already told Jada when they come tell Colin not to leave because I'm running out there with those bags of things okay have you ever noticed that you will have people in your life that tries to sow negativity or seeds of discord. So let me tell you what's going on. There's this guy at the gym. Um, Joe, is that guy Pakistani? Joe, is he Indian or Pakistani? Yeah. Indian? He's, he's probably from India, Joe says. He's a nice guy. He does t-shirts. I think he's, what does he do to t-shirts? Silk screen them? Mm -hmm. I think he silk screens t-shirt. So he saw me yesterday. Joe's always dodging this guy, okay? Uh, every time I see him, I'm kind enough to steer him in the wrong direction. Where's Joe? I'm like, there. And Joe's all the way over there. So yesterday, I'm so evil. Yesterday, I saw Joe right there in my line, <laughs> my line of sight. And the guy's like, where's your husband? I'm like, I, I think I saw him go that way. So Joe managed to avoid him all day because he just kind of chit-chats too much. And when we go to the gym, we go to work out and leave. An hour and a half, we bail, okay? So he was going by yesterday and he's like, you guys don't come anymore. I don't see you anymore. But we go random times. We'll go at 4, then we'll go at 5.30. Then we never try to go too late, though, because it's too packed too late. But, you know, with, I'd say between 4 and 6 is when we go. And I said, no, we've been coming. And, she, and he says, I didn't see you here last night. I'm like, oh, we didn't. I don't come on Tuesdays because I go live at my YouTube channel. Then he goes, how's that going? I'm like, it's going okay. And so he saw, like, your husband tells me you're making aprons. And I'm like, yeah, I'm making aprons and a whole bunch more things. And then he's like, you know, when it comes to apron, you should really get this thing that you spray on it to make it fire retardant. And I'm like, well, I don't know what it is, but my aprons, you know, nobody's going to catch fire. You don't be right in the fire when you're cooking with the aprons, right? And then he goes, well, everybody is selling aprons. You know, you can get aprons for 99 cents. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want Chinese aprons. He was already pissing me off. And so then <laughs> he's all, and he says, well, what makes yours so unique? I said, because it's two-faced, you know, the, the little Mexican lady that takes care of Osley says it's two-faced. It's two-faced, so they're getting two aprons for the price of one. And on top of that, the people that follow me that are faithful, they know that we just learned to sew in the middle of November and that we're putting a lot of love into these aprons. So that's what makes them unique. I'm not trying to open a factory to sell 50, 100 of these aprons. You know what I mean? I'm, you, you're not going to see me on Shark Tank trying to get seed money to open back a factory to get all these sewing machines to hire people to sew just aprons all day that's I'm not gonna do that you know this is something that we're doing right now the merch from our channel and we're gonna have other merchandise stuff that I don't have to make maybe I could just you know heat transfer things onto it and stuff right so anyways the guy's just like finding fault with everything you know about me doing the apron and he's like you I'm gonna send you a link I sent your husband the link did, did he not give it to you I said my husband don't know how to use his um 
uh, smartphone. He knows how to make a phone call. Occasionally, he may see a text come through. He does not know how to check voicemail. He don't know nothing to do except open the phone and make a phone call. All right? And so he started to laugh. So he says, well, when you come tomorrow, I'll send, I'll give you the link. I said, I'm not going to come tomorrow. That was supposed to be today. I said, I'm not going to come tomorrow because I'm going to go to Long Beach. And so he says, oh, you're going to the t-shirts. I, well, I should have known that he would know about the t-shirt show, right? And I said, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, you know about it, right? Because you're in that industry. And so then um, he says, why do you want to go to that? That's dead. You know, that show is old and it's dead. There's nothing happening there. I'm like, good God, Beelzebub, shut up. You know, and I'm like, well, I have fun when I go there. I used to go to find vendors for my bottle printing business because we buy inks and screen mesh and stuff. Well, now I want to go and see embroidery stuff, and I want to see heat transfer stuff, and I want to meet the people that are going to make my logo like that so I can transfer it onto bags and stuff and make it look good and so I don't have to make it in my own little crappy printer. I want to find out about the other printer that's going to make things like this. Let me show you. You know, for you to put, you know, hot stuff on, and we could put, you know, different pictures on it. I, I want to go do all of that, you know? People ask me if I can personalize what I'm doing. I can't personalize anything because I just have a little old crappy HP printer. You need to buy like a, a really good $700 printer in order to do all this work because it comes with special paper, special ink. So that's what I want to go do. I mean, who's here to stop me, right? And so he's all like, oh, okay. You should really go to this whatever he named another one that's in February. I think I heard the name before when we were in the industry. And I was like, yeah, okay. I don't want to be rude. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, well, uh, whatever. And so when he walked away, I felt the negativity seeping into me. And I had to speak to that thing. I'm like, get out. Get out. You're a spirit. Get out of me. Uh-uh. You're not going to come into my body and mess up my brain because I'm excited to go to this thing. And then, look, I jumped up and I'm a day early and a penny shy and all this stuff. You know, so I'm like, no, no. If I see things stopping me, trying to stop me from going to something like this that I know that, 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 that it's important, you best believe I'm going to speak to that thing so, so it can move out of my way because I know that there's something there for me. There's a blessing there for me, you know? So, yeah, just it, it just crossed my mind because, you know, what we were talking about going to the t-shirt imprinting show. So that guy crossed my mind. So I didn't go to the gym today because Joe had to take Joshua to school and he waited for him. I cut um, Helen's two organizers. I have Cess's organizer. All the interface and stuff is ready. So we should sew... I think we could sew those three tomorrow and then ship out everybody's stuff on Monday. But I still have to go ship out, I think, three different packages. You guys are buying. Can I just say thank you from the bottom of my heart? My dad ran into one of my viewers. He, he gave me the name, but I already forgot the name. And he says, I met one of your viewers that's um, disgruntled. I go, disgruntled viewer? I've never met one of those. I know I have a lot of disgruntled, disgruntled viewers at the um, cooking channel, but I've never really met one in real life. They exist. And then he laughed and he goes, she wasn't really disgruntled. She was sad that you were not going to vlog anymore. And I'm like, did you tell her that I moved? And, she, and he says, you know, I don't understand none of this mess. All I told her, no, no, no. She moved it to one of her other channels. And then she's like, which channel? That Daddy goes, go check. She put it on the vlog last night. Daddy don't even know that I vlog, okay? He only knows about the cooking channel. So I was like, that made me feel kind of good. Somebody's going to miss me. But hey, we're right here, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, this sums up this vlog for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to get more into the groove because I really had to make sure that I know what audience I'm speaking to because I know the few of you that watch my vlog at the vlog channel are coming over, but I also have to be respectful of the fact that other people signed up to this channel for what I was offering before. And I'm still offering all of that, okay? I'm just going to add this as extra. So please stay with me a while. The vlogs, they do get better. We're going to have some travel vlogs soon, I hope. And um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thumbs up this video if you've liked what I've produced. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. People, I look forward to your comment. I have to look down our different heading to find you guys. But I truly appreciate you. I don't know what I'm going to name the vlogs. I don't want to name them Babs Bear Talk anymore. You guys, throw me some ideas. Uh, when I put up a DIY video, it's going to say DIY. When Joshua puts up a video, he's going to have something about a black cat in it, so you know it's his video. When I put up um, a review, it's going to say review right at the start of the video. And when I put up a vlog for right now, it's going to say vlog. All right? But I'd, I'd really like to name the vlogs something else other than Babs Bear Talk. Babs can be in the name. You know, Babs can still be in the name. But you know that this is a family vlog. All right? So I will see you guys tomorrow night. Yeah, Daddy, you know, he came on up.
Você tá